We begin at 5 with an update to breaking news. One of Tulsa's busiest ERs on lockdown for three hours as police tried to convince a shooting suspect parked outside to surrender. Two News is working for you with team coverage. We begin with reporter Brandon Richard. He's live at St. Francis Hospital where the standoff unfolded. Brandon. Well, the St. Francis ER operating normal right now, but this morning some scary moments, and not just for people inside that ER. I learned that paramedics en route here to St. Francis had to scramble in order to figure out where to go. Now, police say at around 6 o'clock this morning, a 27-year-old man with a gunshot wound walked into the St. Francis ER. He said he'd been shot by his father. Police found the man's father just outside the ER, parked in the ambulance bay, armed with a gun. They say the father refused to surrender. The standoff forced the ER into lockdown, and as a result, ambulances unable to drop patients off. We had to basically divert those patients to other hospitals uh, that were initially going to be transported to St. Francis, and they couldn't be. Now, in addition to paramedics having to divert to other hospitals, I'm told some workers and people uh, visiting St. Francis had to find different ways to get inside. Some people unable to leave because of the standoff, which came to an end after about three hours when the suspect surrendered to police. And hospital leaders and IMSA tell me that while everything worked out fine today, they will review their uh, policies and procedures just as a precaution. And coming up tonight at 6, find out why the lockdown didn't just impact Tulsa, and why some say it could have been much worse for everyone involved. Reporting live in South Tulsa, Brandon Richard, 2 News works for you. Hi, Brandon, thanks. We continue our team coverage now in Jinx, where police say this whole thing started. 2 News reporter Nathan Edwards has more on the two men involved and what happened leading up to the standoff. Nathan? Police say 62-year-old Burgeon Toe and his 27-year-old son, Neil, were driving here on Main Street in Jinx when the shooting happened. It's still not clear where they were going this morning, but after the gun went off, police say Burgeon Toe drove to the hospital and dropped off his injured son. He then drove off and eventually returned to the hospital. It's not clear if this was intentional or an accident because the father is not cooperating with the police. They've arrested him on a complaint of domestic assault and battery with a deadly weapon and is being held in Tulsa County Jail. We worked to track down more answers by visiting their neighborhood earlier today. One of their neighbors didn't want to go on camera but told me Burgeon and Neil Toe lived together. The neighbor says the two seemed extremely close, and they're shocked that something like this could happen. Point live in Jinx, Nathan Edwards, 2 News works for you. All right, Nathan, thanks. And 2 News constantly working to gather new information on this story. Ahead at 6, why EMSA was so concerned during the standoff, you'll also find coverage anytime on our website, kjrh.com.